What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and another episode of Weekend Watch where I break down the top five movies at this past weekend's box office. But I also let you know what brand new films to expect in your local movie theater this coming weekend and also on streaming services. So really quickly, before I break down the top five, I want to talk about The Menu for a second. Now, The Menu is indeed a smaller film. It opened up this past weekend a possible great alternative for people that are not fans of superhero films or just Marvel in general. But for some reason, this film just did not hit. And I'm kind of curious of the reason why. Because this film does fall into the horror genre. It can kind of cross over into different genres, thriller, possibly suspense, but it is a horror film. I saw it on Friday. I enjoyed what was going on in front of me. There was a lot of unexpected moments and creepy stuff going on. So I would definitely put it in horror. And as we all know, the horror genre has been performing outstanding in the year of 2022, especially original concept horror films. So it just surprised me that this film did not make more money. And I'm kind of wondering, what was the issue? Was it a lack of marketing? Was it a lack of star power, like big star power? Because this film does have Nicholas Holt, Anya Taylor-Joy, and also Ray Fiennes. And those are all well-known actors, but maybe possibly not well-known enough. I don't really know the reason. So I'm just curious for your opinion. Let me know down below. What do you think the problem was with the menu and why it did not make more money this past weekend. So let's get into the top five. Starting off at number one, obviously Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever is going to maintain that number one, bringing in another $67.3 million at the box office. That's a good number. However, it is an over 60% drop. However, I'm not counting out this movie just yet because as we all know, the trend, if you fall majorly in the second weekend, you're just going to continue to drop. However, this coming weekend is Thanksgiving weekend, five full days, because usually people start off their Thanksgiving holiday the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. So you have five days to bring in money for your film. People are going to make plans with their family and their friends. And usually those plans include going to see the big blockbuster of that weekend. And let's be honest, it is Wakanda forever right now. There is a little bit of competition this coming weekend, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough to overtake the number one away from Black Panther 2. So I'm very curious to see what the final numbers are going to be a week from today after those five days how much money is black panther 2 going to bring in is it going to be more than 67 million dollars we will just have to wait and see so let's talk about the rest of the top five second and third place second place did come in the menu or i should say the menu did come in second place with nine million dollars so that's what i'm saying I just thought that the film would bring in more money than that. I thought maybe 12 to 15 would have been a respectable number, but I'm kind of thinking that maybe it possibly will make more money Thanksgiving weekend because people making plans didn't go to the theater this past weekend. So that is always a possibility. In third place is a movie I didn't even know existed. It's called The Chosen Season 3, and it brought in... $8.2 million. In fourth and fifth place, fourth place goes to Black Adam. That's pretty embarrassing if Black Adam got beat out by the chosen season three, which no one really knows about. Black Adam brought in $4.4 million, and in fifth place is Ticket to Paradise with another $3.2 million. So what is new to the box office? Thanksgiving weekend to give Black Panther 2 that little bit of competition. We've got a lot of variety coming. So the major new release to give Black Panther just a little bit of worry is Glass Onion, which is the sequel to Knives Out. Now I'm kind of worried only a little because Glass Onion is a one week exclusive in theaters. This film 
is owned by Netflix. Ryan Johnson sold it to Netflix. So Knives Out 2 and 3 are going to be on Netflix, but they but they convinced Netflix to lend out the movie to theaters for one week. So it is only going to be one week of competition, but still, I'm looking at the reservations online and those theaters are filling up. So I think this may be the one to make Black, to make Black Panther worry just a little bit, just a smidge. And if you miss it in theaters, it's going to be on Netflix December 23rd, just to let you guys know. So that's the main new release. And then other new releases are Strange World devotion and also the sun and i believe the sun is in very limited release and i think it's going to be more official i believe in december or possibly in the new year so what is on streaming if you're not interested in the mcu you don't want to go and see glass onion you want to wait for that on streaming there's always options on streaming for you so starting off over on netflix we have wednesday this is the series about Wednesday Adams starring Jenna Ortega. I am looking forward to watching this one. Why they waited and put this out in November and not in October, I have no idea, but I'm looking forward to it. And also another Christmas movie called The Noel Diary. Over on HBO Max, we do have some variety. We have a couple of Christmas films, but we also have Love Lizzo. A Christmas Mystery, and also Holiday Harmony. Over on Hulu, Welcome to Chippendales is going to be available for you. I believe this is based on true events, true story, so that's interesting. Disney Plus is going to have the Hip Hop Nutcracker. Amazon Prime is adding on Cyrano to their, to their watch list, so if you were curious about that film, you didn't want to pick it up, you'll be able to stream it over there. Paramount Plus has Fantasy Football, an original film. Over on Peacock, we have Pitch Perfect, Bumper in Berlin. And finally, over on Apple TV Plus, we have Echo 3. So that is everything happening at the box office and also on streaming. So let me know down below, what do you think happened with the menu? What is the reasoning for lack of numbers? And do you think Glass Onion Knives Out 2 is going to bump out Black Panther just for one week? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next time.